Hey you guys, I am back with another video. So if you don't know, I'm Jay Leah. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to do a tutorial on how to do a wing liner and how to do um, a nice eyeshadow look. So um, I am going to do my eyeshadow first and then I'll have a part two video that just covers the wing liner that way you don't have to watch the whole entire video for one thing if you want to look just for the ring liner you can check out part two if you want to look at just how to do the eyeshadow look at part one and then if you want to learn how to do the lashes look at part three because that's going to be in there too so yes so I already have my foundation on. Normally I wouldn't put my foundation on first, but I've been out today. Um, I did my foundation this morning. I didn't do any eyeshadows or anything, so I had already full face. So I just went ahead and set the rest of my face from after work. And now this is what I'm left with. So I put setting powder underneath my eyes from Sasha Buttercup. And I got the shade, I don't know what shade it is, but um... I got this one but it just says Sasha Buttercup setting powder and yeah I got the beige looking one the warmer tone looking one yeah that's all I did was set my face so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a primer and put that on and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into the voice so voice over so I can just speak about what I'm doing so here I have a Urban Decay, I believe it is, um, eye primer. I've had this forever. Probably should throw it away, but I've literally had it for over, I want to say, five years. So I just went ahead and blended that out with my finger, just because I like to make sure it gets nice and blended. And then I'm going to go in with this color called Cobalt Blue. And it's like a purplish blue color. And I'm just making crispy lines with that. Not really necessarily um, blending at this moment. And then I'm going to go in with this color called Create. And it's a very lovely color. Um, I want to say it's like a fuchsia. But I may be wrong. <laughs> but it is a nice pink color. Um, so I'm going to blend those two colors out. And yes, honey, I'm blending, blending, blending. We're going to take our time and blend and blend and blend and blend. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back in with that cobalt blue. And I'm just going to deepen up that crease just for this cut crease. And then I'm going to go ahead and also blend it out. Because I want to make sure all the lines are blended. But I just want to make sure it's pigmented. So that whenever I do the cut crease it's going to stand out. Now I'm getting my highlighter pen. It's like a highlighter pen but concealer at the same time. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a overlined cut crease. So I'm going a little bit over my actual crease so that when my eyes are open you can still see the colors. Now I'm going in with the color Shy from the 25B Morphe palette and I'm just patting that right over the concealer. Now this step you can actually skip all together because I would put the color Taylor um, on the outside and inner um, tear duct area and it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to and I went in the middle again with that color shy from the 25B palette but it wasn't giving me the look that I was looking for so I went back into the 39A um, palette and I picked up the Dare Me just to deepen up that blue and I also picked up the Create color which is that fuchsia color um, and I added that on the outer corner 
and was like trying to make a nice transition from dark to light. And in between that Create color and the Dare Me color, I went ahead and put the Cobalt Blue in between. And I'm blending it out as like to be a nice transition shade from pink purple to blue. And yes, we're going to blend and we're going to blend and we're going to blend some more. And we're going to look at it. We're going to add some more Sha from the 25B palette, and then we're gonna blend that out some more. Okay, so when you think we done blending, we ain't, we gonna blend some more. Now all I'm doing is layering on that shy color from the B25 um, palette from Morphe, just to make sure it's getting nice and pigmented, because I'm trying to do like a look like whenever it's nighttime and the moon is you know reflecting off the water that's the type of look I'm going for so that's why I keep um building it up you know darkening the outsides and then trying to blend out the middle now that I'm done with the crease I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape and then go in with the color canvas to highlight underneath my um, eyebrow and it wasn't highlighting good enough for me so I did go in with um, some concealer just to brighten up where I need to pluck my eyebrows to be honest with you <laughs> that's all that is I'm trying to cover hairs at this point and so I'm just getting a highlighter. I'm going in with um, a nice little thin eyeshadow brush on my finger. And then I'm just blending that out. And honey, the key to success in this look is blend, blend, blend. And I'm going in with the color canvas again, which is a new color. And obviously, as you can tell by how fast that brush is moving, we blend it. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the color Shy and the color Taylor and I'm highlighting underneath my lash line and I'm also going to go beside that on both sides with the color Dare Me and then on the outer corner of my eyes I'm going to go in with the color Create which is that nice future color and now I'm just going to blend those all out. So I'm just recreating the same colors that I have on the um, top lash line. And once I get everything blended out the way I like it, honey, it looks amazing. So take a look at that blending, honey. Yes. Kill him, girl. Kill him. So this is the finished look, you guys. So, yeah, I hope y'all like it. This is my first time trying these lashes and I like, I prefer my lashes to be more curled and I have curled these eyelashes and they still aren't as curly as I want them. But other than that, I think the look turned out pretty good. So you tell me, comment in the comment section. Let me know if you like this look. It was a little bit easy, a little bit hard, a lot of blending. But overall, I think it turned out well. This is like more of a night look um, or something glam. So, well, it is obviously glam, but, you know, maybe a night look. <laughs> so, that's the finished look of the shadows. And I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>